Well, I will try to show you some of the changes which have been done in the gearbox controller. Of course, we have the live menu, which is uh, showing all the valves in the, the PVM of the valves and uh, GPS, RPM, kilometers per hour, and so on. If I uh, give you the engine, you can uh, just run a little bit. You see, things are changing. Well, that's uh, and the next menu. That's the boost. The boost control menu, but uh, and here we have the manual gear. You go into that manually, or you can actually, if you are in, uh, if you are in the main menu, and if I go into push my pedal, what happened is that has went up. And yeah, if I put the pedal down, it will shift down to first gear. If I move the joystick left, I go out to the main menu again. What also has been done? Just have to focus here. Is that just quality? That's better. We have a new shift firmness. In here, we have 10 points for all for all gear changes. Let's say we have from uh, first to second gear. I press left, the right, right on the joystick. The first thing I see is save changes. We don't. We can use that on the way back. The next one that uh, if I want to correct the shift at zero percent load, I can change it up and down to make it softer or harder. 10 percent load. I already have made it a little softer than standard. I can make it more soft when I press the joystick right. It's standard. And at 30% I have also found out that I want to have it a little softer. 40%. And I can change them up and down. If I push it to, to upwards, it will be a harder shift. And I can do that for up to 100% uh, load. That's 100%. I cannot go more to the right now. So I push the joystick left, 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 left. And the next time I press left, I will be present and I can save the changes. Now you see that the profile is, is updated. That's why my it's the, the bottom is in S position. Otherwise, it would have been the double V, which were, which were updated. Okay, we have saved, saved the changes. So now I go, go left. I can do that for all gears. Also for the downshift, I have all the different shift points I can change. What also new here is that we have a possibility to rate last shift, if we want to do that. You can actually drive the car and uh, simply by pushing the up and down uh, joystick you can rate the last shift and make it uh, softer or harder. Then the, the computer will find out automatically which point has to be changed uh, of the points we just saw before. I can try to, uh, to show it a little bit. I can try to drive. You see the last shift was done from first to second here. And now, of course, it shifted back down to, from 2 to 1. If I found out that that was too hard, I can press the joystick here. I can press it down to say it was too hard. And then it says it was too hard. Or I can try to... I press the joystick up, and it noted that the first to second was too hard. And that was also noted too soft. So that's how you can be played around with to, to find the exact shift you want. You can always go down into the shift firmness menu and, uh, and put all those back to zero if you want to start over again if you find out you have done something wrong. There's also general firmness. You can adjust uh, for temperatures. You have general line adjustment. That's it for now.